hey there uh, welcome back okay so in the last playlist we did build uh, the uh, real-time digital whiteboard okay uh, we named it as dizzy board okay so now in this playlist uh, we are going to build a, a newer application not as complex as the previous one but a, a lighter and simpler uh, application okay I am naming this application as simple forms okay it's uh, so what is this about is it's a very a lighter and simpler version of you can think of a google forms so we'll have very little features and uh, uh, it helps us quickly uh, build a forms and uh, share it to other users and collect some info yeah so that is this application about so let me showcase you the the end output of how this is going to look like okay after we start building this okay so i'm taking you to the uh, output of this so this is the application that we'll be building called simple forms so as it's the main purpose we're highlighting here is like you know the quicker way uh, to build a simplest forms okay and uh, you see now in this uh, home page we have this the header with the login and sign up functionalities and then option to create a form once the user has uh, uh, registered or signed in or logged in and this is a simple screenshot of uh, the uh, preview form that it's going to look like after user has created a form and then uh, just as of now for this application we will just add you know uh, the uh, you know having an option to add a simple text uh, 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 input and then multiple choice and then single choice radio buttons and then option to preview it and publish and uh, share the URLs to the others and after after the kind of you know users has entered the data we'll have an option to export that data into the excel files and for in the dashboard of the users forms we'll have the forms i mean a pictorial representation for multiple choice and single choice of, for the responses that user has chosen and also we'll have the count of the uh, responses uh, received for particular form okay so quickly let me showcase you you know signing up i'm just going to sign up here you know let's say i am test one to three uh, user okay and uh, the email that I'm going to provide is this okay in the password so I'm just creating a user here so I have created the user and now it took us to the forms page and this is the our uh, list of the forms you know dashboard list okay we are going to have a uh, everything here okay so first let me create a simple form here I'm just going to name this as a form one and uh, I'm just going to add a simple uh, few questions what is your uh, first name okay and i'm just going to uh, add one more thing so the same thing for last name something like this what is your uh, last name okay and uh, let's add here multiple choice something like you know uh, interest i'm just going to change uh, here options to something like let's say the sports you know let's add here sports okay and i'm just going to add here thing for now okay and here let's add one more uh, something now like checkbox okay uh what's your passion okay something like you know i'm just going to uh developing you know you can just change your uh developing okay here uh, traveling then uh, something like you know sh uh, social service okay fine so assuming this is the uh, so i'm just going to remove this okay this is the simplest form okay that we built so i'm just going to uh, so we do have your three options as you see and we can also search for it you know if you wanted to add multiple uh, many options then we can quickly search for it and uh, so if i just check uh, uh, check boxes okay so you see now uh, search is also working fine and so these are the three options now we did create this uh, simple form and i'm just going to uh, check the preview version 
so this is the preview version so i'm just going to enter here uh, no, uh, my first and uh, something like last name and here you know i'm just going to select some options here and you know, i'm just going to uh, okay so once i submit here so it will be successfully submitted okay so now going back here you know uh, going back to my forms and here if i see the, the responses i should be seeing the responses that we received for the part first question and the second question and the interest you know the uh, pie chart here and for uh, check boxes you know we do have this bar chart okay so this is how we are going to create a forms okay and here we do have an option here to edit the existing form and also check for the responses okay so here if i want to add here let's say i want to add one more uh, option so let's say you know uh, so here something that i did add here so if you just check here so quickly i'm just going to uh, add here test something like this and i'm just going to change here okay submit okay now going back to this our forms and checking the responses so now you see we do have the two responses with the test user and uh, this thing and then the uh, pie chart for radio buttons and then the bar chart for our thing so now going back to our forms i'm just going to uh, edit this and then now if i click on publish if you you see that we do uh, have the option to copy our link okay and an option to unpublish it okay and let me here quickly copy this link and open it here here now see uh, so i am user one i am user one last name something okay and i'm just going to select here okay and quickly submit now if i just see uh, the responses i should be getting that okay so this is the thing so now uh, we now we can uh, we have do have an option to export to excel so clicking on this it's going to uh, download the excel file for that and uh, we'll have the each uh, submit in each uh, of the each record okay so that is the uh, this is the uh, application that we'll be building okay and we do have your you know searching the form by title so if you have multiple forms and uh, like many forms you know multiple uh, rows per page you know many pages then we can just go and search for it so here if i just uh, so let's say here i'm going to search for something which is not there now you see so it's going to give us the uh, no forms created with this name okay i'm just going to reset so it's going to give us the default things okay so this is the application that we'll be building and this is going to be very exciting okay so sorry uh, very exciting and a uh, lot of uh, things that we'll be learning how do we uh, uh, structure our application then um, the database tables and handle uh, the functionalities that you have seen okay so it's going to be a lot of learning so this is what we are going to build in this playlist uh, hopefully you guys uh, like this application so look forward uh, to start building it from scratch thank you so much